jump over and watch him on the way out. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, my God. All right, both of you, raise your right hands for me, please. Oh, he's Where the testimony in this case will be the truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth. These yes. two against okay. each other? All right, Mr. Minow asserts that Mr. Grubb attacked him with a baseball bat and reflected a picture of his injured arm as a result of that. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, I just see him walking. All right. If no he gets back, in the police report and no criminal charge that I can see. So, Mr. Minnow, fill me in. Are you? Do you have any idea what's happened with that police report? I did um, get a police report, and I did um, email it to the courts. Former you lovers. Have, uh, with um, so are are they going to follow through? Is there going to be a re referral to the prosecutor's office? What do you know? Um. Oh yes. That was sent well, to yeah, the prosecutor's office, the report, including the video. Have you heard from the prosecutor's office? No, I have not. Have you checked with them to see what the status of the case is? No, I have not. Larry's either I laying on the floor or has the very high plugs in this house. Office, I guess, is what I need to do, I guess. It would be, it would be the Thurston County Prosecutor's Office. Okay. But I I thought I would I thought I mail uh emailed the police report as well as well as the um my witness report. Yeah, I don't have any of that in here. Wow. Wow. I can't believe Larry attacks somebody with a baseball bat. Wow. Wow. I have a couple of photos and that's it that made it. Well, I did. I okay. All right. So, so hold off for a second here. Let me. What was the date this occurred? August uh, around. Oh, it, um, August first. It happened. Okay. And you said, Mr. Grubb, this came out and. Yes. You with the base that. Yes, he has an issue with his dog. And I believe with my service animal, where um, he, animal? he believes that when he is bringing his animal out to use the restroom, that I have to um, listen to his command and stay where I'm at until his at his uh, pet is done using the restroom. Now I'm 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 going to explain. He's please he, do. him and I share common areas in on this property, and so every time that or this is the second time that this has happened. It happened last year, and this year it's it happened again to where he will have his he will um, make his animal pee in the common area and expect me to wait wherever I'm at until his animal is done. And this happened last year, and I and last year when this occurred, I I told him I said, "Excuse me, but this is like an open there you go. space. If, if he has a problem, he can walk his animal away or whatever. But he chooses to stand there and command me to to stop. And this is like I said, this is a common area. We both live on on the same property, two different buildings." And and we share all these common areas, especially with is our he, animals. Is he treating Vince like a dog? And, and this that's the problem human. Grubs has. There's there's like half a dozen people on this property with dogs. He does not say anything anything to them. He's always had um said that to me, to me. And the night that he had. Um, assaulted me with the club after the security guard came out Wait, to what? Um, the you... club. A uh, separate oh, us. I said plug. Mr. Grubbs walked into the building with the club in his hand, and I yelled while I was on the ground with the security guard. I yelled at him, saying, "What the f do you have that club for?" And he turned around and and stated that that was for people like me. Now, for one thing, we're not supposed to have. 
we're not supposed to have weapons on this property. It's in our lease. We have a new lease this year that states no weapons on this property. I do not understand why Mr. Brubbs has to have a weapon when we do have a armed security guard on property right now. All Sounds right. like Thanks. a nice place. Uh, yeah. Mr. Grubb, is there a reason you're laying down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. Yes. Um, I have a bad back. I was an electrician. I fell eight or nine feet landing on my back on a concrete floor. Nice. My back okay. compression fractures, a boot fracture, and two herniated discs. And right now, after sitting here, my back is in pain. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Okay. So before you. Good enough excuse for the lawyer. Uh, Mr. Menno indicates that you assaulted him with a bat or a club and that the police took a report and he understands that report uh, has been filed with the prosecutor's office. What uh, is which that means, thing that locks your steering wheel? You know, I don't know any more than what he's told club. me. You know, the uh, club. But that means they could be considering charges. If that's the case, be great if uh, that's a pretty serious charge, probably a felony charge of assault if they choose to file it. Uh, and, you know, that risks long-term jail. So you don't have a lawyer with you right now. Uh, yeah, no, he's right you here. say today could be used by a he's prosecutor in bed with Larry. they do charge you with assault. So I want you to fully <laughs> understand. And I'm confident that if you did have an attorney, the attorney would say, don't say anything at the that club. hearing when you're under oath. And you are under oath. So... Want to say anything today or not? Yes, sir, I do, because what he has said is less than accurate. Okay. Good job, okay. Larry. Just tell me in your own words, you understand that anything you say today could be used against you if there's a criminal case. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, everyone else in this facility that has a dog, we work to avoid each other so there's not a problem. But Vince refuses to do so. All I asked him to do was wait until my dog was done going to the bathroom. Then I went right back in the building. And I never threatened him. I never hit him. What happened was I raised my arm to intimidate him. And he grabbed my arm. And when he did, I put him on his back on the concrete on the sidewalk. He pulled me down on top of me. Um, and that's how my knee impacted the, the concrete. I, that was I had a mild heart attack in the process of all of this. I wound up in the <laughs> hospital for four days. When I got out, I told the people running this place that I was done. I'm not going to live like this anymore because the reason we have armed guards now is because there was a shooting in this building. When I went out, took my little dog out to go to the bathroom, I walked back in. I had to step over a dead body laying in the doorway. <laughs> I had to walk around him. I went in my apartment. I got a tray of medical supplies, went back out, and then I saw where the bullet hit. And I knew there was nothing I could do because the bullet hit the guy's heart. Um, Electrician and paramedic. Him, no, I never threatened him. I've never, I, all I asked him to do was to stop and wait until my dog was done going to the bathroom. And everybody else around here with dogs, we avoid each other. So there's not a problem, but Vince doesn't do that. So much and more so to the story. And then he grabbed my arm and, and I, I, I used a technique they taught me in 1969. I'm a veteran and I put him on his back. Um, okay. Imagine That's those videos we've seen. <laughs> And uh, as I said, now I'm I I you know I mean, I've got an appointment to, uh, to see a cardiologist because of the heart attack I had, uh, the mild heart attack I had, and mild. they took an X-ray of my knee in the hospital. There's a chip, uh, something in my knee. That's the reason for the orthopedic surgeon. Um, but again, it goes back to if Vince would have stopped and waited then none of this would have happened. If he would have stayed away from me, none of this would have happened. Did they catch the killer? Or is he still roaming the halls? It could be Vince that shot the guy, allegedly. Vince was laughing when he was talking about the heart attack and the dead, dead body. <laughs> Sit back laughing. Vince has got a good look. My God, I, I did not see any of this coming from the beginning at all. Yeah, Larry was like, yeah, uh, you damn right. I want to Your say Honor, something. I are, you, are you still resident at the property, Mr. Grubb? Yes. 
And until okay. I've already given notice to this place that as soon as I'm done with my medical issues, seeing the cardiologist, the orthopedic surgeon, oh, uh, I'm going to move. I'm done living like this. I am, had a murder on this property, and now we have this situation. You know, it goes on okay. and on and on, and I'm done living like this. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm 72 years old. I will be 73 the 28th of October, Happy and birthday. I'm done being attacked by people. I, I'm not going to live like this. I love Larry. Because the individual that was shot went after me outside the building when I was taking my dog out to go to the bathroom. And two minutes later, I walked back in the building and stepped over his dead body because the guy in the apartment next to me, when this was going on outside, got up, went into his apartment, got a handgun, came back out, sat down in the same chair. And when Jeffrey walked into the building, he started off on Chelsea, the woman behind the desk, then turned to go off on Steve and Steve shot him. And I'm not going to live like this. I, I mean, I'm done. I just, I, I refuse to go on like this. Better okay. be careful, Vince. You might be next. And again, it does have nothing to do with Vince. I, I mean, what about Steve that shot him. What happened to Steve? Steve popped the cap in the guy. Why? And no, yeah, yeah Daryl Larry's going to come back out and revive him. Yeah. I went inside and grabbed my medical tray. Come back and, well, there was no help in the guy. Uh, Steve's a crack shot. Skyler, haven't seen her in quite a while. No, but it's good to see her. Uh, Mr. Grubb saying that uh, there's sort of a rhythm of people taking their dogs out to go to the bathroom and that Mr. Menno doesn't respect that uh, rhythm. Uh, and that's why he got upset and tried to intimidate Mr. Menno into Always. complying with it. And in the course of that, they ended up having a tussle. Uh, Mr. Menno says Mr. Grubb actually struck him with the club. I did, uh, and the Olympia police and Mr. Uh, Grubb denies that, and the Olympia police came out and filed a report, and we don't know what the status of that report is. They don't have uh, cameras there. I will indicate. Uh, I am going to sign the protection order, Mr. Grubb. There, you don't have the the right to tell Mr. Menno what to do or not to do regarding the animals. You can ask him, and if he doesn't do anything, you don't go about trying to intimidate him into doing something different. To throw uh, so I will grant back. the protection order. It'll be in effect for one year. It's not going to require any yeah, distance no. limitation since you both live on the same property. It's just Larry's out there looking at Vincent no through the window. Mr. Menno at all during that year period. <laughs> so you can't say anything to him. You can't go to his residence. You're to have no contact with Mr. Menno. Understood? Yes, sir. Ciao. Okay. Larry's going to get up with Steve All and right. going to put a hit out on Vince. We will email copies of that order to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you.